We are now walking down the stairs, walking down to Whisperwood Studios, which is my project studio in my home. It's here that I do a lot of uh, mixing work for different projects that I'm involved in, and from time to time I'll do uh, um, whole projects in, in, uh, in this room. But more often than not, I spend my time here uh, mixing and editing. Uh, but this past weekend I was working on a special project, and that was uh, for my son. My uh, youngest son had uh, written a composition, and uh, I decided to take that composition from uh, a very basic piano track to a full production, and that's what you'll you'll see here. I have a follow-on video which has the finished product, so this is just going to talk a little bit about the work that we did do. Uh, here I'm loading up the session, and uh, it's now up, and you can see uh, some of the tracks. Wound up using about 40 tracks for the project, so quite a lot of musical tracks, although some of it was just done for ease of, uh, uh, of playing. So I have 13 guitar tracks. Not that I had really 13 different guitar parts, but I layered some of them left and right. I had a lot of volume swells and and drones and, and, a, and a almost synthesizer like guitar sounds that I included in this uh, in this theme, uh, as well as uh, you know full drums, uh, bass, and um, uh, and I covered all those. Matthew, uh, uh, not the drums. Drums I actually took from a, uh, another player, uh, but the bass and guitars uh, I put in, and Matthew did the uh, keyboards. This was the theme. Uh, this is how it started. Just basic piano track. So that's how the piano uh, was originally captured. And really what we did was a, I, I took an existing keyboard, uh, I put it through a, a virtual instrument, uh, which in this case was a, a, a grand piano virtual instrument. Uh, and then uh, Matthew added uh, a few other synthesizer lines uh, and pads. So we have uh, some vocal choirs and, and actually, quite an eclectic source of uh, secondary sounds in the virtual synthesizer, just to create it uh, to create some uh, mood and some some atmosphere. And that's when I added all these guitar parts. As you can see, there's 13 of them, so there's quite a quite a few guitar parts for the piece. Uh, I used a, a software plugin though for uh, for probably four or five of the tracks, uh, which meant that I was using a copy of a Tweed Deluxe modeled in software. And it was interesting to sort of get uh, a sense as to how different that sounded from the real thing. Uh, so here's a quick clip of the guitar with a software model. So that was the modeled uh, guitar amp, which just meant that I plugged my guitar straight into the input of my studio and the actual sound of the amplifier was being produced by software. Now the rest of the tracks were actually recorded using a live uh, version, uh, so I have my own Tweed Deluxe and I mic'd it up and went through a preamp. And interestingly enough it sounded very, very close. So here's an example from that same section with the real thing. So, the real thing and the not real thing actually sounded pretty close. I mean, the, the second cut obviously had some delays and extra processing, but by and large pretty close. Anyway, what follows is a video with the full song, and I uh, hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.